Wait a second. The person! It's... it's Dainsliff! Ah, it's you two. It's hardly personal, or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly churl activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. And you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. Ah. Huh. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity. And that is certainly not much to go off of. Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish to know about, his situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me, and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedderfolnir, the visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but he is also my kin, my older brother. Your brother? There were five of them. The Five Sinners of Kanria. The Wise, Roptatir. The Visionary, Vedderfolnir. Gold, Rhinedaughter. The Foul, Sirtalogi. And Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria, those who carried the hopes of the nation. They were the best of their peers, outstanding in their respective fields. Six of us, together. We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster, the ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss, and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became sinners, but also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power. And when the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation, not one came forward to prevent the tragedy, and for that, they shall never have my forgiveness. Indeed, if they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. Of course, as I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. I've continued to investigate the questions surrounding the Loom of Fate. It's been quite some time since the initial operation was launched. By retrieving the Eye of the First Field Tiller, we were able to stop part of their plan from coming to fruition. 
Indeed. However, it's obvious that was just some sort of technical experiment. The eye was integral to their plan, yet somehow, despite failing to obtain it, they've skipped the experimental phase and found some other way to keep moving forward. There are many signs pointing to that effect. Our most pressing concern is to determine the purpose of the Loom of Fate. From there, we'll be able to deduce the Abyss Order's true objective. Based on the intel I've gathered so far, I suspect the Loom of Fate is related to the Ley Lines in some way. Traveler, you were able to observe your siblings' memories last time, yes? I believe that was due to the fact that the Ley Lines in that area were unstable. My recent investigation has shown that Abyss Order activity in a particular area is usually followed by a series of issues with the Ley Lines. It's certainly possible. I'll join your investigation tomorrow. This missing persons case could very well turn out to be the key to unraveling these mysteries. <sighs> the missing person from your commission, could you describe them to me? There appear to be certain memories in my mind that weren't there before. Memories of him. No, it wasn't a dream. They're memories. Memories that suddenly appeared in my mind after I woke up. And I'm certain I've never met this person before. I remember... Handing him the eye of the first field tiller. Indeed. And it appears he possesses the ability to implant memories into the minds of others. Whatever the Abyss Order is planning, an important truth has been revealed to us this morning. What sort of truth? That their goal is still to obtain the eye of the first field tiller. They haven't stopped searching for it. I am the only person who knows its location. Perhaps implanting that particular memory was an attempt to interfere with my mind in some way. Your concerns are not entirely unfounded. I don't believe the Abyss Order is capable of altering reality like that just yet. However, considering their single-minded pursuit of the eye, I would see an equal level of caution is in order on our part. Come with me. We must check whether the eye is still in our possession. Traveler, wait. Uh. We've no time to lose. Let's head inside. Just as I suspected. The false memories were a trap. The Abyss Order just wanted to follow us here. Now that they're in the vicinity, we should have a chance to see... Ah! Ah! Can you feel that? There's been a disturbance in the Ley Lines. It must be the work of the Abyss. You too. Do as I say. Use that mechanism over there and leave this place. The Abyss Order is putting something in motion. If you return to Vimara Village, I suspect you might finally have the opportunity to locate the missing villager. Just think of it as a way to divide and conquer. I knew going along with your trap would be the only way to meet with you face to face. You risked your safety and that of the Eye? That's quite the gamble, Dainsliff. But I believe that I am the one walking into a trap laid by the Twilight Sword. 
So you came here all on your own? What about those followers of yours? When the Twilight Sword is prepared for battle, any army I could send would only be marching to their doom. Better that I face you alone. I know you must have a lot to say, but if it's a conversation you want, you'll have to defeat me first.